President Obama's defense budget is getting heavy criticism. Some fear the proposal is going to have a big impact on military families, causing them to pay much more for their health care. It's an issue that we started to explore yesterday. We want to go back to it and take a fair and balanced look today. Joining us live, Republican Congressman Buck McKeon, the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee. Also with us, Democratic Congressman Adam Smith, the ranking member of the House Armed Services Committee. Congressman McKeon, to you first. Uh, the, the proposal here is that uh, military members and even retired members, people who have done their service under the president's budget, are going to see a huge jump in the premiums that they pay for TRICARE, the medical, uh, the medical health insurance service for military retirees and members. That's right. Uh, from 97 up to 345, 50 percent over the next uh, five years, and means testing for military. It's just another uh, hit on military. You know, uh, our, the military accounts for 20% of our overall budget, but 50% of the savings have come out of, out of defense. And uh, these people that have given so much for us, why are they to be singled out? The other civilian defense uh, employees are not being hit with this same uh, increase. They're not going to be means tested. Why just, is that? I, I don't know. Uh, to me, it, it's a it's a fairness issue, and I don't know why uh, we we just keep trying to solve our financial problems on the back of the military. If we keep doing that, who's going to have our backs the next time we get attacked? So some of these uh, troops, for instance, back from Afghanistan who have been out fighting the war, they come back. Uh, the Pentagon says, "Welcome home. Welcome home. We're going to increase your your uh, medical health care premiums 300 percent or more." Iraq, Afghanistan, and they've been there, some of them, many times. And it isn't just the, those serving now or recent veterans. This, this also goes to, I mean, retirees in their 60s and 70s and beyond. Yeah, it, uh, I, I don't know all the details. We haven't seen all the details yet as we go through the process. We're just in the hearing process uh, now. We had all of the uh, service chiefs, and, and now we're uh, having the combatant commanders. And then we'll go to subcommittee where we can really delve down into more of the issues. We just got the, the budget a couple of weeks ago. Well, this has to be approved by Congress. Do you think the oh, mood yeah. is there in Congress? I mean, the, 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 you've told the Pentagon they have, to, they have to cut their budget by, what, $487 billion over 10 years? Uh, and the sequestration, which would be another five, six hundred billion. That, that's that, a trillion altogether if that happens. Over a trillion. And, and I just think it's just asking too much of, of the defense uh, department. We understand that everything has to be on the table. People spoke loud and clear, I think, during the last election. But again, to take such a big part of the savings out of defense, those who have, uh, you know, they lay their life on the line for us every day. We have. We have troops over there in Afghanistan, as we speak, that probably go outside the wire today on, on uh, patrols. They should not have to be thinking about the increase in their health care costs or their retirement or what's going to happen to their families. They should be able to concentrate on their missions. We shouldn't be putting them through this. Congressman Buck McKeon, thanks for uh, sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you, John.